Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It's October 20th, 2022, and I'm feeling a little bit melancholy today. We have had the most incredible October. We've had long, warm, dry spells um, with no moisture, and that is all going to change starting tomorrow. We have a big front moving in, temperatures are going to be starting to drop, and lots of rain for the next week. So this is the last day, or this is the last day for me here in the orchard to pick. I'm still going to pick some tomorrow up at the house, but this is the last day to pick. So I went through and picked a bunch of figs. We've got uh, these big ones with cracking really soft. That's Robert's Golden Rainbow. This here is uh, Black Greek Marius. Those are all Roberts in there. These here are Capignere. Some of them are just totally, totally dried. Just incredibly dried, soft, squishy. <clears throat> this here, <laughs> I might have to think about. Uh, that's, oh, that's Red Lebanese Bacca Valley. <laughs> been picking a lot of figs today. Here's another <clears throat> another uh, Campanieri. If you can let them get like this, they're really, really sweet. It's a delicious fig. That's just squishy to the touch. So uh, I'm going to grab the board here. I'm going to pick. Oh, uh, Let's see if we can get that one cut. That's just, if it will stay there, because it's just this ball of, of goo. That one's really, really ripe. And this one's pretty ripe, too. Right there. All right, let me grab a knife. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. I don't think I can, but I think I might have. Look at the honey pulling up on that one. That one... This one here didn't cut, it kind of smushed. That's when you know they're really ripe. These should be pretty good. Well, you can tell the one on the left is ripened a little bit more than the one on the right, but it's not like the one on the right isn't ripened. That's a thing of beauty. I think I know what that one's going to taste like. Let's try this one here first. The one that's, I, I, I hate to say less ripened because it's totally ripened to the max. But it is a little bit less than the one on the left. Okay, here we go. Campanieri. Delicious. Not, it's not coming in as sweet as the ones that were earlier, and I think that might have to do with just the cooler evening temperatures, but just a beautiful fig. It really is. It's just this lovely berry, not much seed crunch, really soft skin. You just see, it just wants to fall apart when I touch it. I mean, you can see how soft that is. Now, let's see if this one is, is really fig candy, because it's hard to have that much sweetness on October 20th, as, the, as earlier in the season. Okay, let's give it a try. Let me pour a peek at it. It's just, it's, you can see it's, just falling apart. Wow. 
that thing, it becomes another fig when it gets that sweet and that ripe. It almost is like you're eating a different fig. But they're both phenomenal. But this one here, honestly, it's like you just went to the candy store. You bought yourself a piece of candy and you brought it home. Okay, I'm, I got to eat this, this half. I would say maybe a little bit more seed crunch on this one. Kind of a gooey texture. It just kind of like melts in your mouth. It's a great fig for us. Uh, smaller fig. I'm not a huge fan of the small figs, but it ripens early enough that you get a lot of figs, and it seems to ripen for a long time. Um, definitely has proven to be a winner for me. In the pot, I wasn't impressed with it at all. In the ground, it's a keeper. Thanks for watching. We'll have some more. I'm doing a couple more tasting videos. It's kind of a fun day.